What's going on guys? Tony your Positive Tech Reviews back with another video. 30 days later, I still have the Google Pixel 3 as my main daily driver in my pocket. And, uh, yeah, you can see I've been using the phone for 30 days, main phone. phone. So the phone's been great. For the most part, um, I'm not going to tell you it's the best phone out, but when it comes to pictures, taking pictures and photos, it is the best phone out. It's the best phone out that can do that. It's, it's the best smartphone that takes the best uh, photos, and that's hands down 100%. I'm keeping it 100 with you guys. That's the phone. This is the only phone that's going to do that right now, or the only available phone that's out right now that does has the best cameras in the game also uh, when it comes to updates this is going to be the phone right here that's going to have the latest and greatest updates i mean it's guaranteed three years uh this is straight from google it's running stock android it's gonna get the fastest and the quickest security updates compared to any other phone that's out there so that's two up right now for this phone and i can tell you some more i, I actually like, like the phone i really enjoy the dual front firing speakers, I mean, they sound pretty good. I, I think it's improvement from last year's Pixel 2. I had the Pixel 2 XL, so comparing it to that phone, I think these speakers on this phone, on the Pixel 3, actually sound a whole lot better. I mean, it's a smaller phone. It has a 5.5-inch display, which is P-OLED, uh, 1080p resolution. does the job. It's, it, the speakers just sound good. I do like the phone because I do like the form factor. I do like the small I do like the small form factor. Uh, it's easier to hold, more comfortable in the hand. I do like the fingerprint reader on the back of the phone instead of in the front of the phone because it, that's just where my fingers always lay. And it's it's just uh, easier for me to unlock the phone. Uh, some people prefer it on the front of the phone because they lay their phone flat and they just wanna uh, place their fingerprint on there and unlock the phone, which is understandable. So the fingerprint reader on the back definitely real nice it's uh pretty accurate 99 percent of the time uh it may not be the fastest but it is the most accurate fingerprint reader that i've used uh it always unlocks the phone both hands i got both uh fingerprints set up on here and it always unlocks the phone pretty good so um uh, doesn't have face unlock on this for some reason google didn't incorporate face unlock i, I kind of don't know why but it didn't, so it does have wireless charging, IP68, dust and water resistance. Headphone jack is gone, or it's been gone, but uh, it does, cool thing is it does provide, or Google provides uh, the Google Pixel Buds, which sound real good on here. Um, I've used them once or twice, but I'm, I haven't used them too much because I, I prefer to, just to listen to the dual stereo speakers coming from here. So this phone's been in my pocket for about 30 days, a little bit, a couple days shy of 30 days, and I'm still enjoying it. I still like the one-handed usability. Uh, I like the fact that I can text, reach all the way across the screen. I can text one-handed. I can just use the phone one-handed. Uh, it frees up my hand, you know. It's easy in the pocket. You don't have to put a big old TV screen in your pocket. This is a nice, comfortable, small phone. And, uh, you know, after using so many phones uh, the past year and having these big old TV sets in my pocket, you know, I, I, it feels refreshing to come down to a smaller phone where I can reach all the way across the screen text one-handed just basically use the phone one-handed and uh i really enjoy that on this phone so it does have four gigs of ram snapdragon 845 so it has the latest processor uh there is some issues with the phone i'm not gonna sugarcoat the phone there's some issues with uh video audio uh, i think i've touched on it so many times already um, but it does take some really really good videos believe it or not and it has some awesome stability i think it's the best stability uh, on a smartphone also that I've used, I mean, the stability on here is real nice when shooting videos. Like, I haven't shot a lot of videos and posted them on YouTube because I'm waiting for an update because I want the video quality. I want the sound, and the sound is not there. So um, a month later, I've gotten an update, but they still didn't fix the audio sounds when recording a video. And it also has an issue with RAM management, which kind of concerns a lot of people. And I'm not going to sugarcoat that either. I think that uh, it's kind of important to have RAM management 
uh, working on, on a smartphone, especially on a Google smartphone. I mean, this is a, a Google phone. I mean, they own Android. It should be running flawlessly with zero hiccups. But um, I don't know if Google gets a pass this year. I think um, this year has been a pretty, uh, not a great year for Google. Um, I mean, the Pixel 3 XL is just not, uh, it's the phone where I'm glad I didn't get. I'm glad that um, Google shipped this to me, by the way, but I'm glad they, they didn't ship the 3XL because I don't think I really would enjoy that phone. And I, that phone's having all ton, tons of issues with it, and uh, the notch is just, oof, it's something not, not good to look at. So I'm glad that I got the 3, the Pixel 3. It's just, it's just a more comfortable phone and uh, easier in the pocket. So I really like this phone. So 30 days later, still rocking with it. It's still my best phone right now, even though I have the... The OnePlus 6T, which I'm shooting this video with, um, this phone is still my number one, man. It's my number one. So let's go ahead and listen to some audio real quick before I end this video. You guys can check out um, some audio on here so you guys can hear these awesome speakers. Um, shout out to my Project 13 there. Uh, we just got a T-Mobile OnePlus 6T update. So let's go ahead and check out my, go into my videos here. We'll play one of my videos real quick. And... Uh, Turn the volume up so you guys can kind of listen to it. Uh, I am using a microphone, a headphone microphone, so I'm going to crank it up. Let me go ahead. Man, these speakers just sound good. I can't. That's, that's the truth right there. And I can't cover them up. Uh, Tony here, Positive Tech Reviews, quick video, those of you who follow me on Twitter and uh... Yeah, so the speakers on here are pretty good man, they're pretty loud, clear, uh, they do have some nice tones So I, I still enjoy, I, I really enjoy the speakers on here, uh, like I said, I've kind of mentioned it like too many times already But the phone is just, it's just nice man, so anyways, stay tuned for some more videos on the Pixel 3 um, I'm waiting on an update so I can give you guys some straight up videos from the phone using the phone out in the wild so you guys can see the stability and the quality of the videos the photos we all know that uh this is king supreme when it comes to the photos so i'm not going to touch on that too much but you guys need to check out the videos on here once they fix the audio and uh, stay tuned for those videos i'll catch you guys in another one and i'm out 30 days later this thing is still a beast <laughs>